Breaking news, Prince William addresses King Charles III and Queen Camilla's marital crisis. This crisis, which we've recently discussed, has become increasingly evident. Some British media can't ignore it, using social media and cartoons to show the royal's romantic troubles. Despite decades together, 2024 brings rumors and discord, prompting Prince William to speak out. First, please like this video if you haven't already to keep getting the best content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on new uploads. YouTube will notify you for free so you can watch them right away. What's your take on King Charles III and Queen Camilla's relationship? Perhaps what starts badly doesn't end well. Let's discuss the latest on Prince William, a rumor about King Charles and William's message revealing his father's crisis. Not about cancer, but about Queen Camilla. Let's listen. Hello Orlando, great to connect with you again from our content room. I have news from elespanol.com. Prince William's broken his father's tradition by not disclosing his taxes, causing controversy. The Duke's report shows William earned 28 million euros from estates, but tax details weren't provided. British press criticized this lack of transparency, especially given Charles's high rent on William's property. Despite criticism, King Charles III plans to stay at Atrio and hired a new gardener to keep the garden fully eco-friendly. What do you think, Orlando? Could the lack of fiscal transparency raise concerns about the monarchy and its responsibilities? Tax transparency isn't entirely absent as Prince William pays taxes and files his returns. The only missing piece is making these statements public, but it's all known to the English Treasury. What's most striking isn't what King Charles might be paying his son in rent, which is known to be financial support he provides, but how Prince William has addressed these concerns publicly. First, he's made it clear that his finances have always been transparent and public. Second, he explained that King Charles III's rent is set simply because the monarch himself decided the price. And third, it's shown this is a place where the king feels comfortable alone. He's felt better fighting cancer there, pleasing those who oppose Queen Camilla and favor Diana's memory. Prince William's comment about his father enjoying alone time during cancer treatment suggests that, according to William, King Charles III is happier without Queen Camilla than with her. Where's this coming from? Why is Prince William taking a dig at Queen Camilla? On one hand, we've seen the Queen Consort urging Kate to return to public life and royal duties if she's feeling better. On the other, it's been notable how King Charles has distanced himself from Queen Camilla at royal events for nearly three months. The usual hugs, kisses, or touches between them have vanished. It's about the monarchy, not feelings. A crisis in the British royal couple is confirmed. Is this the final break? I doubt it, as these issues are just beginning. We don't know how much King Charles can take or if he'll surprise us by leaving Queen Camilla. Could this really happen? I'm not sure. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Prince William still sides with Queen Camilla more emotionally than monarchically. More insights coming in our analysis as always. Of the King 
Prince William beautifully honored his late mother, Princess Diana, by including her memory at a significant moment in his life. Prince William and Kate's fairy tale marriage will soon mark their 13th anniversary, known as the Lace Anniversary. The couple, who dated for eight years, gave their first joint interview, which aired on New Year's Eve. This talk is remembered for Kate's iconic blue dress, which has been often copied. Kate shared that, while she expected a proposal, the actual moment came as a big surprise. It was a total shock, she said, revealing William's romantic side during the interview. William honored his mother, Princess Diana, at the engagement ceremony. He gave Kate a 12-carat blue sapphire ring with 14 diamonds. This stunning piece of jewelry once belonged to Princess Diana herself. Diana's ring, chosen by Charles in 81, became an iconic symbol of love and legacy. By giving this to Kate, William honored his mother and linked past to future. Choosing this historic piece shows William's deep love for his mother and fiance. William shared how the ring kept his mother, who died in 1997, close to him. She won't be here to share the joy, so this keeps her close to everything, he said. The sapphire ring with diamonds symbolizes enduring love on Kate's finger. It's a touching reminder of Diana's lasting influence on her children's lives. Using Diana's ring for this joyous occasion shows William's respect for his mother's legacy. By giving this exquisite jewelry to his bride-to-be, he beautifully wove his family's history. Now let's discuss another equally interesting news item. Picture this. Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, wife of Prince Edward and King Charles III's sister-in-law, breaks protocol with a bold statement against Queen Camilla. The reason? A tribute to Lady Diana and defense of Prince Harry. On May 11th, the Duchess decided to speak out clearly and firmly. First, please like this video and share your thoughts on the Duchess of Edinburgh's defense of Prince Harry. What's your take on this royal family member breaking the silence on Harry? According to Hello! magazine, Duchess Sophie of Edinburgh attended a charity event in a retro floral dress, kitten heels and gold jewellery. But the most surprising part was that her dress mimicked one worn by Diana years ago, showing support for environmental causes and drawing a striking resemblance to the Princess of Wales. When asked if it was intentional, the Duchess confirmed, saying she saw no reason not to honor a woman who did so much good for the world. This act challenges Queen Camilla's protocols on how to address the topic of Diana. The Duchess also expressed admiration for Diana and hope for reconciliation with Prince Harry. She assured it'll happen soon, possibly at the Duke of Westminster's June wedding, where Harry, Charles and William are expected. What do you think about all this? Leave your comment below. Duchess Sophie is advocating for peace, calm, dialogue, tolerance and above all, love. Let's support her brave show of love and loyalty to Diana and her son. Prince Harry. Now, let's move to another juicy story. At Buckingham Palace, a scandal's brewing. 
King Charles's relationship with his sons has been a hot topic. He's close to William, while things with Harry are slowly mending. But today, we're focusing on his marriage to Camilla. Rumours of a split are shaking London, given the potential fallout. It's not about what might happen, but what's already unfolding. The cracks are showing and things are falling apart. Don't miss this breaking news story. Like this video and comment. Team Charles, Team Camilla or neither? You can also pick the third option, none of the above. Let's discuss and connect with production for updates on the British royal couple. We know there are issues, but we'll analyze the situation with facts and evidence. ARIO reports King Charles III can resume public duties while continuing cancer treatment. This raises concerns due to his intense schedule and lack of rest. Queen Camilla previously urged him to take it easy. Experts have noted Camilla's concern for Charles's health at recent events. Despite this, the king is determined to continue with his duties. Ignoring Camilla's concerns, Charles III proceeds with royal duties during treatment. Orlando, how should monarchs balance public roles and health issues like those faced by King Charles III? Let's hear more from you on this topic. Undoubtedly, health must come first for leaders, be they political or royal. They're human beings who also need care. King Charles III's approach here is crucial given his key role in the British monarchy. He knows his actions impact society in the UK and across the Commonwealth. This is where Queen Camilla fails to understand, despite explanations. The first round of conflicts was about Prince Harry's return. The King is happy, but Camilla keeps her distance. We know Prince Harry isn't her favourite. A second round shows growing conflicts. Third, Camilla pushes Kate to fulfill weekly royal duties, which is more striking. The king clashes with Camilla, insisting on respecting his grandchildren's mother's health. That is, Kate Middleton. Lots of tension, many issues, and add to that King Charles backing Diana tributes, with Queen Camilla visibly upset. This explains the recent behaviours we've observed. As I said, this isn't gossip, it's been evident for months. Note how Charles and Camilla avoided closeness during the Japanese Emperor's London visit. There's clearly a significant distance between them. We also see them doing public duties separately. They avoid couple photos or posing together. Who's not having their best time right now? Remember, they once enjoyed their love and relationship. But lately, things have been quite rocky. The situation at Buckingham is quite delicate. And I want to ask you, what do you think? Could Queen Camilla and King Charles III separate? Let me know in the comments. Personally, I think it's unlikely, but we can't rule it out completely. Let's break down what's happening and share our thoughts in the comments. The next show's gonna be hot and you won't want to miss it. Don't forget to subscribe to Secrets of the King for royal news and updates. What's your take on this situation? Do you think a split is on the horizon? Share your thoughts below and stay tuned for more info. Now, let's move on to another equally intriguing story.